Steve, how's it going? Like subscribe, etc. all the usual. I'm looking today at Ableton Operator. Uh, I'm not gonna give you an in-depth thing of it, but what I've done is you've got a link to, in the description, to three different operator racks where you can randomize to your heart's content and you'll get endless, almost endless combinations of sounds that are usable. So I've randomized them in different ways. I'm just gonna click on the map now so you can see, rather than me explain it in a dry way through every single one, that's number one. That's number two. You can pause the video and check these things out if you wanna do it yourself. But like I say, the racks are there to download. And that is number three. So I've got common parameters, but I've also got things which are different between each one because Operator's got so many controls, there's just like loads you can do with it and you can't even fit it into the 16 macros to get a mad randomization thing. So I'll get stuck into it. We're gonna do it in three phases. First phase, we're gonna randomize the macro controls to get sounds. Second phase, we're gonna refine the sounds. Third phase, we're gonna make something out of those sounds. I can't help with every three phase thing, I just think of the underpant norms. Anyway, let's get stuck in. So in each operator, I have a spectrum, so we can see what's happening to the waveform, and I've also got a limiter, so we're not gonna go mad, because when you start adding extra harmonics, extra things to the waveform, it gets really loud really quickly. So I'm just gonna get stuck in, randomize, hit the button. You can see what's going on there. We've got quite a strong frequency there. I do like this sound, actually. I'm gonna save that. Next. Yeah. Could get a bit techno lead on that, couldn't we? Let's save that. Quite like that as a nice sort of drony pad background thing. Yeah, sort of. Give that a save. That's just noise. Yeah, not quite like that. Yeah, we'll top off a little bit of the top end there. We could do that. Off. So I like that. We can take the noise off the top end on that one. trap. Dark and mysterious. Let's stick with seven on that one and we'll move on to the second one. That's a nice percussive sound like that. We'll save that. It's got potential. I'm going to save it. We're not doing Doctor Who sounds, so we'll forget about that one, eh? Space Invaders right there, isn't it? Might want to kick off some of the release on that. We'll find out what's doing that, but we'll save that one. It's quite a nice rhythmic sound, that. I can see that working. Mysterious and foreboding. One more.
quite like that, we'll save that. And let's move on to the next one. Far too many harmonics in the top end, but it's got a good bass sound, so we can filter that out. I like that one as well. bass sound there. That could be quite a nice kick drum but an understated kick so nothing. Yeah that works for me. nice as a percussive sound. for number seven. Right, so that's all three operators done. We've now got 21 different sounds. I am gonna bugger off now for a little bit. I'm gonna refine the sounds and I'm gonna name them and then we'll, I'll show you the process of refining them, why I've done what I've done, and then we'll get to making some up with them. So here we are, I've renamed all the tracks. You may notice I'm in a different outfit today. That's because yesterday I had a horribly loud tinnitus day and I just couldn't focus. It was horrendously high pitched, unmaskable. Uh, so anyway, I've pushed it back to the day, got everything sorted now. Here is drum, bit of a drum sound, noisy pad, a bell pad, techno lead, square drum, snare with a question mark of course, and a potential bass noise. On the second operator we ended up with a rhythm, siren. I'm not really sure what I thought I was going to do with that, but these are the things that I chose anyway, because it sounded interesting. Another rhythm repeat. Another rhythm repeat. You can see this one was all about the rhythm. Glassy resonant pad. And another repeat. And on the third operator, this short airy thing. It does sound a bit 8 bit, so I've called it that clearly. Which noisy pad and noisy bass. Bass or flute, I wasn't really sure what this one was. A uh, tune noise. And sparse beauty. Great, so that's all three of them. And I took bits from each one, which I'll run through, and I'll show you what I've done with them. I've done very, very little. This is the beauty of Ableton's operator. You don't actually have to do an awful lot to get great sounds. So you'll notice I've only got one saturator and one echo unit, and that's all I've got in the whole of these sounds. Uh, so I'll just play this in the background and I'll run through what I'm doing. So this is my loop that I came up with. This bass drum, 
is that lower bass sound from operator number one. I just took out, it had a lot of resonance, so the harmonics there were a bit loud, so if I take off the EQ, it's just a bit, a bit much for what I was after for it. The noisy organ, the noisy organic it was called, I believe. It's a really nice sound. the movement in the sound it's got so much interest a new thing I've done to this I popped an LFO on the filter frequency it's just sweeping slightly because I've slightly even it's sweeping slightly because I've got a bandpass filter on it and I'm just moving that to give a little bit of interest to the sound I turn the LFO off still interesting it's a lot more interesting moving around there the next sound with this bell pad you can see that's just coming in there and giving a bit of a hit just worked out quite nicely doing that then this noise rise as I've called it all I've got that doing as you'll see when it kicks in it's just rising up as the sound progresses and I've done that through the filter envelope very simple long attack really long decay, really long release, and that's just pushing it up the frequency spectrum. It lets it sort of sizzle in the background. It's got zero reverb, anything on it at all. It's just that one particular sound. And this one, snare with a question mark. This is the only one that's got the echo on it, because I thought, hey, sounded quite nice. Just letting it sort of move around a little bit. Very, very basic. Dotted eight notes, 63% feedback, that's your lot. The rhythm patches I found really interesting. So what I did with this, rather than just let it run, I painted in its notes and I popped the chance on each one down to 75%. So you've got a bit of syncopation going on and I did exactly the same thing for the next one. I put in 16th notes on this one and I put on 83%. And again, I have an LFO mapped to the tone control. So you can see this tone control here. This lets the this is basically telling operator this is the amount of harmonics I want you to add. So it's just moving slightly up and down, creating a little bit of interest to the sound. And the glassy resonance. It's a nice detuned sound for melodic. With beautiful harmonics and look at the movement in the harmonics. Fantastic. And that is all just from what we're actually doing within the operator itself. Short airy, kept exactly the same. I'm EQing all these sounds as well. <coughs> there we go. I'm EQing all these sounds as well, that's why I've left the curve on so you can see what I've what I've dropped out of it where it needs to be because you often get a lot in the real bottom end of the operator. Uh, and I've also taken a bit off the top so it doesn't compete too much with that higher sort of sizzly noise. A rich noisy one. That's kept there just as this really nice high frequency thing only kicks in every now and then you can see down there. It takes a while before it's going to kick in again. And then the Sparse Beauty one is a similar sort of sound, not too many harmonics. So there you go. There's a really high frequency harmonics. A lot of those you can't even hear because they're above the human hearing range. And again for this one, I've actually not done anything with the EQ because, you see when this is coming up now, there's not an awful lot going on. There's nothing at low level to EQ out and we've just got really sparse harmonics going on but it's got a really, really nice sound to it. Uh, so that's what I've created and hopefully you can go forward with the racks that I've provided for free. Do your own. Copy what I'm doing, share it. I'd love to hear what you've done with it. Randomise and just let what you've randomised get nice sounds and just let it guide you. It's a fantastic way of just getting creative. I would have never done this to start off with. I just did it based on the sounds and I really love it now. And I even recorded a little bit of a vocal, which hopefully you don't think is shy. Shouldn't we be swearing on YouTube, should we? Anyway, uh, I'll play you out on that haunting, hopefully, vocal. And it looks like heaven, feels like heaven too. Look.
looks like